Okay, I want to do a real quick one. This is a 1999 Ford Crown Victoria with a 4.6, and it was actually towed in. The vehicle runs, but will only run with your foot on the gas pedal. So go ahead and start that for me, and let's take a listen. Don't put your foot on the gas, just crank it. Do it a couple times. So you hear it will not idle. Go yeah, one more. Okay, now put your foot on the gas pedal just a little bit. Try to keep it running. And you can hear that it runs pretty smoothly with your foot on the gas pedal. And when you have this kind of symptom, right away we're going after the idle air control device. All right, so the first thing we're going to look at is some data parameters on the scan tool. There are no trouble codes, so I'm really not going to show that step. And what I want to do in this case is I want to speed up this data process. So we're going to do a custom data display and we're going to pull up some relevant data parameters to look at. We really didn't need to do that, but what that does is that speeds up this data process for us. And what we're looking at the top right, mainly this idle air control percentage. Go ahead and start it. See the command was 50, 60%. Go ahead and start it again. And go ahead and hold your foot on the gas pedal to keep it running just a little bit. I don't like that TPS voltage already. It almost looks like someone may have adjusted this. But here's what we know. Looking at mainly the IAC percentage and RPM and desired really for that matter is if you look at this number here, this desired, the computer wants it to be at 848. And so what we want to see is a command to open the idle air control valve and being unfamiliar with these, you wouldn't know that a 60% command is pretty much fully open and that command is there. So we're reading 62% and we're still not reading with our RPM at 700, we're still not hitting the desired idle. And what this is telling us is this command is there for this valve to fully open. The range on this is between 20 and 60% typically. And seeing 62% is telling us the command is there. And now our concern before putting an idle air control valve in this car is to make sure the signal is actually getting to the idle air control valve. And I, I know some of you at this point in this video are gonna watch this and say, well, why don't you just go beat on the idle air control motor? We can do that, but number one, that doesn't make for good learning. And number two, what happens if beating on the idle air control motor doesn't do anything? Are you confident enough to still put an idle air control motor in this? And that's the point with this video. I'm showing you other methods than just smacking on the idle air control valve. I've done hundreds of these Ford idle air control valves sticking. You smack on them and they'll run and you're good to go. But I want to show how to check it both with the scan tool and electrically. So our next step is we're going under the hood. All right, so we're under the hood next to the throttle body. Idle air control valve is here. It is a two wire solenoid type idle air control. We already have the signal wire T-pinned. Go ahead and connect that up. Okay, we're using the component test meter of the Varus, which is basically your Vantage Pro program. This isn't necessary, but just the tool we're choosing to use right now. Well, the first test we're gonna do is a signature test, and what we're looking for is basically a square wave pattern. This is a duty cycle controlled solenoid, so we're gonna see some on-off pulses. And uh, we hit view meter, and the first thing that you see is our control wire voltage. We're connected to the control wire. We're reading about 12 volts, and what this tells us initially is that the solenoid at least electrically is intact we have 12 volts going into the solenoid 12 volts coming out waiting for a ground this is what we want to see and uh, let's start the car and see what we got go ahead and uh, hold your foot on the gas pedal to keep it running just a little bit. You see our on-off pulses on the screen. The low portion of this 
square wave is the on time, the high portion is the off time. You see in that in that picture that we're definitely more than 50% duty cycle. So really what this is telling us is the, the wiring, the computer, everything is functional as far as the side of air control valve goes. And that tells you you need an idle air control valve. At this point, we could go ahead and smack on it and do the old school method. Go ahead and let off the gas, leave it run. Okay, so it's still stalling. Uh, one other thing I can show you before we smack on this valve is we can actually measure the duty cycle. And this would be instead of just guessing on what that square wave percentage was. Now this is gonna be a graft duty cycle. Go ahead and, and start that. We should see what we saw on the scan data. And then, uh, yeah, light throttle to keep it running. And we'll display this a little different here so you can see our, our actual number. And uh, you see our graph? We're roughly 51%. It's very close to what we were seeing on the scan tool, 50 to 60%. Let it uh, idle down a little bit more, as low as possible. So a little, little bit different than what we were seeing on the scan tool. I'm showing about 45% right now. Let's see what scan data is showing. I'm not communicating with this. We actually cycled the key. All right, scratch that. But you can see very, very close to what we had on the scan tool, 56% duty cycle right now. And really what this is telling us, bottom line, make a long story short here, the wiring, the computer, and everything is good on this vehicle and that we can feel safe to put an idle air control valve in. And one more time, you guys are gonna maybe wonder why we didn't just knock on the valve that's pretty much a, a field acceptable method when you get one of these Fords to come in that do not idle on their own and uh, there's nothing wrong with that in fact I do it myself but what I want you guys to understand is the the wiring checks involved that if we smack on this valve and the idle does not come up are we comfortable putting an idle air control valve in this with the checks that we just did. The computer, the wiring, the feed circuit, the control circuit, all of it is good and that was the point with this. Uh, let's go ahead and get a, a wrench, something, screwdriver that we can smack on this valve and see if we can make it idle. Let your foot off the gas, still stalling out. Okay, good. Now just try to start it. Smack on that valve. Start it. Start it. Good. <laughs> so there you go. And again, I know that some of you are like, why don't you just do that in the first place? I'm just telling you from the standpoint of they don't all unstick themselves. Our, our problem with this car was a stuck, closed idle air control valve. It is a common issue on these Ford solenoid type valves. And, and that's the, the field test is to smack on it. And if the car idles now, you're good. Change the valve. Some of you guys might say, why don't you clean it? I haven't had success cleaning this kind of valve. Uh, some of you may have. Some other idle air control type tests you want to do, shut the car off, restart the car. We should have a flare up on each startup. Go ahead and do it. Hear the flare up. What that flare up tells you is the valve is functional in both directions. It, it opens and closes. Um, it's just some other type, idle air control type stuff you can do. But I think it's a very good one for a quick test on a 
solenoid type idle air control valve as far as the wiring goes and what, what you do if, if smacking on the valve does not free it back up. Lastly, the symptoms, again, I want to stress this, would be the car runs fine with your foot on the gas pedal, and that's key. If the customer's complaining of a stalling problem, and they say that it doesn't run well with your foot on the gas pedal, you have more than an idle air control valve problem. In our case here, this vehicle runs fine, but would not idle on its own. Your first place you're gonna go is for the idle control device on the car. Okay, we have the new idle air control valve in. I'm gonna show you guys what normal idle air control counts look like. Go ahead and start it up. Sorry, I said counts, I meant percentage. So looking at our idle air control, we're 43% right now. And you see that our RPM and our desired are pretty much matching each other. Our foot is not on the gas pedal. And as this engine warms up, you'll see this number drop even further. This uh, 43% that we're looking at. Pretty typical idle air control percentage. On a vehicle like this is between 30 and 40%. So as far as the idle issue goes, I'm gonna say that is a fix. And as this thing's running here, I actually am feeling a misfire. So it looks like maybe we have another problem on this car too, but that at least addresses the idle control complaint on this car. You see that number dropping even more, we're down to 39%. One of the things you can do with this idle air control percentage is you can look at this number for dirty throttle plates I've shown other videos where there was a misadjusted base screw. We were reading around 20%, which was a, an issue too. So there's a lot of stuff you can do with these numbers if you know what you're looking for. Uh, last one more time would be the flare up that you wanna hear on startup. Go ahead and shut the car off. Restart it. And your flare up you're looking at is the higher RPM, the higher IAC percentage. And that shows you the motor's functional in both directions. So that's it. Stuck, closed, idle air control valve on a Ford.